Well, a new documentary out takes a closer look at Tom Brady in the arena. The film Man in the Arena debuts on ESPN Plus tonight, and it's just the latest documentary from Religion of Sports. Take a look. You just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and you keep trying to make progress. So when I look at over 20 years, I look, look how far I've come. But there's not one step that I took where I realized, look how far I've come. But those series of steps that I put together, um, I go, wow, that's, man, that's quite a journey. For much more on the film, let's bring in Gotham Chopra. He is the creator and director of Men in the Arena. Tom Brady, he's also the co-founder of Religion of Sports. And Gotham, it's talk to you. We should mention, by the way, Tom Brady is also the co-founder of Religion of Sports. So you don't have to travel too far to find your next documentary subject. But talk to me about what drew you to this project and why you felt the need to sort of revisit this story, because you've done uh, other films on him before. Yeah, so I've, I've been friends with Tom and or collaborators with Tom and sort of become friends with Tom, I'd say, over the last six or seven years. We worked on uh, a prior series called Tom versus Time. But in 2017 but that was very focused on one season tom was turning 40 years old that was a thing and we followed him across that season that culminated in yet another super bowl a loss but um you know this one so across all this time that i've gotten to know tom we talk about these things we talk about like normal you know people do about like what has he learned across the journey and as he continues to do it what is he taking from you know, each of these seasons and trying to apply in real time as he takes on this new challenge? And so just as a storyteller, I was like, this is really interesting. Let's, let's turn on the camera and start documenting this and, and telling these stories. Because if you think about it, yes, it's a great sports story. It's, but it's also, it's an interesting cultural story because Tom Brady has been a part of our lives for over two decades, whether or not you're even a fan, whether or not you like football, you know about Tom Brady. So that sort of became just like the narrative thread that really um, fueled this, this project. Yeah, I have to admit, and great to talk with you, by the way, that uh, I'm not a big football fan. I do know Tom Brady has won seven Super Bowl rings, and I know you've got a few Emmys under your belt as well. How is this stacking up in the awards uh, arena? Oh, man. Well, we have a ways to go. You know, at religion sports, we've had some early success like Tom, but you know what you learn is like in order, um, you know, and I, I say this seriously, in order to have success across a long period, you have to build a culture, you know, like anybody can have a one off, you know, like anybody can bring together or the perfect storm can create something um, special. But in order to have that consistent success across, in Tom's case, two decades, that takes way more than just getting lucky. That's building a culture. And so, you know, as you guys talk to all day long, you know, that's, we're trying to do that with religion of sports and, and not just in the documentary space, but audio and scripted. And, you know, it's a, it's a really fascinating time right now in, in the media content space. It feels like there is a land grab right now in the content space. I mean, there are so many different platforms to get your content out on. How has that changed the thinking for you as a filmmaker? And how do you think that's changed the way um, storytelling has evolved, particularly in the field of sports? Yeah. So look, as a entrepreneur, as a co-founder of this company, you know, we definitely, it's definitely influenced us in terms of strategically and partnerships and how we work with different subjects, teams, organizations, other, you know, um, media companies, et cetera, streamers. I mean, like you said, there's just this proliferation of opportunities. I would say when it comes to storytelling, it doesn't really change. Sure, youth now, there's different ways to cut up your content, short form, long form, series, et cetera. But at the end of the day, storytelling, you know, there's a sort of purity to it, which I love as a creator. It still comes back to, you know, Joseph Campbell, Hero of a Thousand Faces, the hero's journey. And we sort of pride ourselves both in terms of the, story, the content we create, but also how we partner with people that we're a storytelling company. We're a we're a creator driven yeah. company and we pay, place a huge premium on that. So storytelling for us isn't just sort of reality shows and turning on camera and um, 
being sort of opportunistic and exploitive. It's about like really focusing on, and we do this with Tom recently with Russell Westbrook, um, just all the athletes we work with is like, what's, what's the goal? What are we, what are we trying to say beyond just sort of tracking you? And so, you know, that's where we've tried to also differentiate ourselves is really just we're a storytelling company. What about your ability to monetize um, the content, though? I mean, it, we're talking about a, a visual medium right now with this documentary, but you've got a podcast as well. I mean, it feels like these different pieces are almost inevitable right now when you talk about a rollout of a big film. Yeah, I mean, you have to. So this goes back to the sort of the other side of the coin, which is the more entrepreneurial building a business and being very smart about, OK, you know, building, owning IP, exploiting it in different ways. When you capture this content, I mean, we're now living in a world, right, where people are consuming that content in so many different ways. So you definitely have to be conscious on the the creative side of that. And, you know, we try to be, Man in the Arena is a perfect example. It's like, it's less about just taking the video content and taking the, um, you know, what you're cutting room floor or just the transcripts and re-publishing them on uh, an audio platform. It's okay, what's, what's the, where's there more storytelling? How can we build a universe of content around this stuff? So, you know, in this case, there's the premium video series. There's gonna be the audio series launches today. There's social content. Um, and it's because what we have found, and I think others have found is when you have something that consumers or, or viewers like, they want more and more and more of it. And so, you know, it's on us then to supply that in as many different ways as we can. And to your point, monetize that and really um, create more opportunity. Well, certainly looking forward to the film Man in the Arena debuts on ESPN Plus tonight. Gotham Chopra, uh, the co-founder of Religion of Sports and the creator and director behind the film. Great to talk to you today.